I'm Ilya Marchenko. I'm Dennis Kudla. I'm Jesper de Jong. I'm Henry Laksa. I am Francisco Segundolo. And, and you are listening to the Game to Love podcast. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Game to Love Tennis Podcast live play-by-play -play stream. I am your host for this match. My name is Covey, and I'm chilling here in Vancouver, BC, Canada, where it is 7, 10 a.m. Uh, yeah, we got a good one on our hands here, folks. Quarterfinal action. We've got former world number one and current world number two. Carlos Alcaraz looking to defend his title. He actually just took out um, in the last round yesterday the person who he beat in the finals, which was Alexander Zverev. Last year, he won 6-3, 6-1 in the final. Yesterday, he won 6-1, 6-2. Sorry, I said last year, I should say he won 6-3, 6-1. So it was actually a better result, believe it or not. Uh, tough outing for Zverev. Just nothing really worked for him. But... Um, Hachanov beat one of his best friends, Rublev, in the round of 16. Um, it was a little bit of an upset. Uh, Rublev's been on fire of late, but it was a revenge after Rublev beat him in Miami. So um, we are in for a good one here, folks. A couple of Nike, uh, Nike kitted athletes. We've got uh, the big Russian is going to serve first. And I would like to know who you all think is going to win. Hachanov is just about to start. I'm going to give you my prediction as well right after this. Okay, everybody. So how am I going? Okay, so just so you know, the head-to-head -head with, with these two, both played on clay. Uh, they've played two matches. One was at the French Open and one was, I believe, in Hamburg last year. Let me just double check that. And Alcaraz has won all five sets. Yes, it was in Hamburg last year. So, um, and he hasn't been pushed past four games. So he won 6-1, 6-4, 6-4 at the French Open. And then in Hamburg, Alcaraz took it 6-love, six 6-2. Six so, oh. Hachanov is saying something here. Not sure what's going on. But anyways, so now that you have a little bit more information to make your prediction, I'm going to go ahead and tell you mine. I'm going to go ahead and say Alcaraz continues um, his role against uh, Hachanov, and I think he's going to take it in a couple of tight straight sets. 6-4, six, 6-4. Four, six, four. That's my prediction. Now let's see who's in the chat. By the way, the match has begun. Hachanov ticks the first point on his serve. First of all, folks, check this out. Game to Love Tennis Podcast. Join the Patreon. There you go, folks. There is the link if you'd like to support us. There's also several different ways. You can look in the description box. Um, we have merchandise. We have uh, PayPal. We have Patreon, different things that you can subscribe to. So, um, And also do, please give a like to this video and a subscribe, especially if you're new. That way you can be notified as to all of our upcoming streams one of our all-stars in the house we have Manor sapphire 6163 carlos i really want to be wrong yeah Manor is a fan of close tight matches um not a big fan of dominance and i understand why it could get a little boring we got a sew we got we'll use cristiano ronaldo cheers and we got hachanov forehand backhand alcaraz as we're into a rally a backhand up the line attempt from hachanov but the backhand goes into the net and it is 30 15 for the big Russian, six foot five, big serving, big forehanding Russian. Covey says Menor. Menor, one of my favorites, as just so as is this person right here, GSL Gary Saint Laurent. Gary, we've missed you in the last couple streams. I know you've been busy with work. Um, hey everyone, I have the match on and we'll be checking in occasionally. Business and tennis clash in my morning hours. I'm here. Well, great to have you, and again, condolences. Uh, Gary, for the Boston Bruins, they did have a, an historic regular season and then unfortunate, bounce, unfortunately bounced in the first round of the playoffs. But hey, that's how it goes. Uh, can't win them all, but it was a formidable season for your bees, Gary. And uh, yeah, so hopefully you're taking that all right. Gary says Menor. Menor says Gary. We got JC3 Alcaraz in straights two and three. Okay, JC3, thank you for your... Um, Excuse me. Thank you for your prediction. So I had 6-4, 6-4. Menor had 6-1, 6-3. And we got 
six two six three. So everyone, it's all one way traffic on the Alcaraz predictions here. Now we're having some sort of issue with. Oh, I guess they're trying to challenge, and the video took a, a second to get up. So we're at thirty all here. So Pachanov won the first two points, but now Alcaraz making his way back uh, to level. Nice serve out wide, Alcaraz with a good return, and oh, a nice uh, forehand winner from Hachanov right back to where Alcaraz was, wrong footing the youngster. So. 40-30 game point now, Hachanov. And Mr. Power saying 6463. Welcome, Sean. The UK's finest in the house. Always got some clever comments that make me laugh. Um, what was the one that he said yesterday? It was so funny. Um something about the carpets and uh the reason that they don't do it is because people because <laughs> the vacuuming or whatever. I don't know. It was so funny. Um oh. All right, nice serve out wide. Return cross court from the backhand Alcaraz, and then backhand Hachanov goes wide. He tried to do the exact same thing as the previous point, this time on the backhand side, but this time the backhand cross court goes wide. So we are at Deuce, and um, I'm starting to get awake here, folks. What is it? Uh, it's like what four fifteen over in uh, Madrid, seven six seven fifteen here in Vancouver, BC. Having a good morning so far. Woke up and get to call some tennis. All right, nice serve out wide. Forehand cross-court return from Alcaraz. Now forehand Hachanov, backhand Alcaraz, backhand Hachanov up the line. Oh, it's a beautiful shot. It's a screamer, and Alcaraz got a piece of it, but it went off the end of his racket and uh, towards the crowd. So Hachanov striking the ball well, looking really good here, and it's his advantage. So, Hachanov, what is he wearing, you're wondering? He's wearing the backwards hat as usual. It's a Nike hat. I don't can't tell if it's like a really dark navy blue or black. I feel like it's a black. And then he's got black wristbands on either wrist. He's got a cream-colored Nike top, cream-colored Nike shorts. And then he's got uh, kind of gray and gray backs and white fronts on his shoes and then white socks. So that is our server at the moment. We'll get into Carlitos's kit in a bit. Nice forehand from F Hachanov cross court. Alcaraz tries to reciprocate but goes wide. And it is a good hold for Paren Hachanov. And I think he deserves a little bit of love, folks. What do you think? Karim, Karim, Karim Hachanov. All right, so a good start for the Russian here. Um, Hachanov. And to thank you to Ben, if you're watching, for throwing that button on, the Hachanov, in the, uh, during, uh, during his work hours. Threw it on there for me. Um, Alcaraz. Looks like he's getting a little bit of help from his coach, which is totally legal. Who coach is now on the side that he will be serving from. Alcaraz first serving... Game of the day here, rocking the same kit he's been wearing for the last uh, couple tournaments. It's the, or actually, the, maybe just it's the beginning of this one. It's the uh, Nike top with the squiggly lines. First serve for Alcaraz into the net. So he has these squiggly lines that are kind of green and black, kind of smoky pattern. Um, he's got black Nike shorts, black Nike wristband on the right wrist. Serve goes in, plus one backhand cross court. Hachanov floats that. Alcaraz at the net, meets it, pushes it up the line. And Hachanov with a forehand passing winner on uh, Alcaraz at the net there. Good job by the Russian. Good anticipation there. And uh, it is love 15. Um, so continuing on with the old kit. Uh, yeah, I got the shirt. Um, I guess I mentioned the yellow with the, the black and blue squigglies. And then you got the black shorts. White shoes, white socks, right wristband, no headgear. And there you go, folks. You are apprised of what the players are wearing. Nice serve out wide. Cross-court return, Hachanov. Backhand, Alcaraz. And that's wide on a cross-court attempt. So, uh, Hachanov, love 30. Advantage on the Alcaraz serve. A little bit of pressure. He actually did not face a single break point yesterday. He actually... <laughs> He only gave up, Alcaraz only gave up two points on his first serve in the entire first set. And I think he gave up five points in the second set. 
Uh, the very last game of the match went to Deuce. That was the closest he, that was the most pressure he faced in the entire match. So virtually nothing. Nice serve, out wide, Alcaraz. The return is just long. And Hachanov, is he going to challenge? Nope. He ta talked to the umpire. Umpire kind of said I was out. Uh, so he asked, uh, Hachanov asked the umpire, was that in or not, instead of challenging. And then the umpire told him. And then so Hachanov agreed. And then the umpire turned his mic off and goes, hey, but this is the last time. I'm not going to tell you again. That was a free one for you. Speaking of free ones, Alcaraz ace up the tee and brings it back to level. Nicely done, Carlitos. Ooh. They're showing a mark of the ace there. And if the mark that they showed was correct, it, it looked like the serve was wide. But uh, no one is challenging. So And it could have been the wrong mark as well. Okay, nice serve up the tee. Short ball return. Alcaraz makes his way to the net. He has a little drop volley. Hachanov gets there. And Alcaraz cuts off the volley and pushes it into the open side. So a little cat and mouse point there. Alcaraz takes it 40-30. It's a game point for the Spaniard. Um, okay. As usual, your stream is way ahead of mine today. It's like two minutes. Got you synced up now, though. All good. Oh, interesting, Gary. Yeah, normally it's uh, closer to about half a minute, but uh, two minutes, interesting. Uh, difficult game for Alcaraz. Yeah, so far, Ger Gerald, you're right. Gerald Aruna in the house, by the way. Great to have you, my friend. Uh, nice to see your name whenever it pops up in the chat. That goes for every one of you, all of you in the chat. Um, thank you guys so much for your contribution. Uh, and by the way, folks, trying to get uh, a good amount of likes here. We only have about 20 people in, but we're only at five likes. So if you feel like you're enjoying yourself, you want to support us, please do hit that like button. We really, really appreciate it. Alcaraz with a forehand cross court, and he takes that game. So each player has held um, a not super comfortable first service game. So good, good uh, look for both players there. And let's see here. Hachinov, how has he been doing? Well, he was in Barcelona and he only ended up playing two matches there, losing in his second match to uh, Dan Evans. Alcaraz backhand, forehand Hachanov, forehand Alcaraz up the line. Forehand slice Hachanov. Now drop shot Alcaraz. Oh, but that hits the top of the net and lands back on his side. Hachanov with a 15 love lead. Don't feel like uh, it doesn't it doesn't seem or feel right now that Alcaraz is um is on just yet. Like yesterday, right off the bat um, against Zverev, he was on. He broke right away, uh, won the first set, six one, just completely cruising. Um like I said, on his serve, he was an absolute monster. Didn't even face an, a single break point in the entire match. Um, and so you could tell he was like really, really on. Right now, Hachanov looks really, really on. The way he's moving, the way he's striking the ball. Um, and Alcaraz, I'd say he's probably uh, maybe 65, 70% all there right now. But he's still playing well. He's just, um, yeah, he's just not, hasn't found his rhythm just yet. And nice kick serve out wide. And the forehand return from Alcaraz is a lob that goes long. And it is now 40 love. We could have our first game to love here, folks. Um, okay. So my cousin was moving, is moving. And uh, he, he had a bunch of uh, extra Apple gear. So I got a free uh, wireless Apple mouse. It's like brand new. And a uh, keyboard as well. So pretty nice little random gift haul i got get to use the uh, the new apple mouse alcaraz tries to rip a forehand up the line a little bit of frustration almost and there it is folks our first game to love it goes to karen hachana <laughs> So as mentioned, Hachanov played in Barcelona. He only made it two matches, one uh, one round, and then lost to Dan Evans. In this tournament, he's taken out Brazilian Diego Montero. He's also taken out Roberto Batista Agut, and uh, yesterday took out Rublev in an upset there. So he's on a three-match winning streak currently. Alcaraz is on a little bit of a longer winning streak. He has won his last... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight matches in a row. So he uh, lost to 
Yannick Sinner in Miami. He won Indian Wells, makes it all the way to the semifinals in Miami, loses to Sinner, and since then, on the red clay of Spain, he has won his last eight matches, five in Barcelona, three here, taking out Rusevori in a tight three-setter in the first match, Dimitrov in straights, but that was also a tight second set there, and then uh, yesterday, total demolition of Zverev. So what else is, are you are you may be wondering is going on today? Well, We've had we have one uh, match coming up after this. It'll be Altmaier versus Borna Chorich. So that's the other quarterfinal. So there's only going to be two quarterfinals on the men's side today, and then on the women's side we had Pagula losing to Veronica Kudermatova in three sets. That was earlier today, and then right after this match on this court, maybe not right after, but uh, in about three and a half hours on this very court. Iga Shiontek, Petra Martic are scheduled for their quarterfinal. So there you go, folks. Um, that's all the action today. And then tomorrow you're going to have um, the other two quarterfinals on the men's side. Jan Leonard Struff versus Tsitsipas, as well as uh, Zhizhen Zhang versus Karatsev. And then we'll have our first women's semifinal tomorrow. That's Zachary Sabalenka, it's going to be a good one, folks. All right, Alcaraz, nice serve out wide, short ball return, forehand, inside out, winner. And Alcaraz looking good here. 15 love on his serve. So we're up to date with some scores. We're up to date with everything else. We're at the point now where just one to two matches per day on the single side. So the noise gets cut down and we focus in on our kind of uh, semi-final, quarter-finalists, semi-finalists, all that stuff. All right, enough talking for me. Actually, that's not true. This is a commentary, so I will continue to talk the whole time. But I um, thought I'd throw that out there. Okay, nice serve out wide. Backhand return. Now backhand Alcaraz. Forehand Hachanov. Forehand Alcaraz. Forehand Hachanov. Up the line. Backhand chip Alcaraz. Forehand up the same line. From Hachanov, another lob from Alcaraz, overhead Hachanov, another overhead smash, uh, and then Alcaraz lobs that back, another smash, this time it goes into the net from Hachanov, so all defense there, about four straight shots where Alcaraz just defensive lobs it in, and on the fourth one, Hachanov um, goes smash into the net. 30 loves. Now, one thing I have noticed from Hachanov, his, his overhead smashes are not that great. Um, there was a really uh, many times replayed point from the Sitsi Pass Hachanov match in the Australian Open semi final, where it was one of those famous points where Sitsi Pass um, he did one, he did the same thing. Oh, nice serve out wide. Return is kind of short, and Alcaraz fakes like he's going to go backhand cross court, but instead he does a drop shot. The other direction, at the last second, he changes it. So, beautifully done drop shot, and it's the first one that works for him. He's, he had missed a couple, I believe, so there you go. Uh, 40 love, Alcaraz now looking for his first game to love. Nice serve. Is good out wide. Return, cross court, goes well long. Lands outside of the entire court service, including the doubles. And Alcaraz holds for a game to love. So, both players had a tough first hold and then an easy second hold. All right. Is that right? We're still only, we can't just be at five likes, folks. There's got to be more. Yeah, there we go. 12. See, I knew something was up. Um, that happened last time. Sometimes if I don't refresh my YouTube, it just gets stuck. So we do have 12 likes. We got about 20 people. Thank you to all of your contributions. And hey, Please do leave a comment. Let me know where you're from, who you think is going to win, who you want to win, maybe. Um, it's always great to hear from uh, people who I'm watching tennis with. Um, I am here in Vancouver, BC, Canada, enjoying this match. Alcaraz takes the first point as the forehand from Hachanov on the plus one goes haywire. Um, he just uh, actually, that was a shank. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to hit that shank button, even though it's a slightly delayed. <laughs> Oh, Hachanov, a nice point here. He had Alcaraz running back and forth. He's been doing this already in this match a few times now. Uh, he's got Alcaraz on his heel. So what he does is he gets, when he has time to rip a ground stroke up the line, um, 
especially, yeah, especially up the line more so than cross court. He takes that chance and he's been really hitting it well, forcing Alcaraz to sprint over and defensively punch that back. And then first serve is long at 15 all. Second serve is good. Forehand return is a looper from Alcaraz. Forehand Hachanov, backhand Alcaraz cross court. Hachanov backhand. Alcaraz with a slice, almost slicey drop. It almost looked like he didn't decide between a slice and a drop. And it went into the net. So Hachanov 30-15. Inching closer to a 3-2 lead. Hmm. Get to my smoothie here. Raspberries and blackberries today, along with some Greek yogurt, almond milk, whey protein, and shelled hemp seeds, which are so good to bring your cholesterol down if anyone's interested. Second serve is good. Alcaraz runs around it and does a huge moon ball. Forehand inside out, uh, Hachanov. Alcaraz lobs that from the backhand overhead for Hachanov, and he puts it away. So um, it really feels like um, Hachanov is dictating most of the play here, folks. Uh, surprising to see so far. Um, again, nothing to be alarmed about necessarily if you're Alcaraz, but uh, they're still on serve. Everything's all good. But you really get the feeling that the, the, the play is being dictated mainly right now by the Russian, which is good to see. You want, we want to see a competitive match here. Nice serve up the tee. Backhand return Alcaraz. Short ball. Hachanov. Forehand, cross court, Alcaraz punches that up, but it goes well wide. So again, the, the trend continues of Hachanov dictating the play here. Um, looking very, very good. So we're a 3-2 advantage on serve. Alcaraz will serve after the break. But I believe that we should give some love to our Russian, who is playing very, very well. Karim, Karim, Karim. Oh, the dance moves on Hachinov, boy. Really, really good. The graphics are great on that. Ooh, Alcaraz has been sprinting back and forth, hitting defensive shots all morning. Well, I guess all day. Because it's morning for me, but not for them. It's the afternoon match over in Madrid. But yeah, I gotta say this is a great start for uh, Hachinov. I have uh, I had Alcaraz winning six four six four a couple of tight sets. Uh, they played five sets before. Alcaraz has won all five, um, winning six one six four six four uh, in Paris last year, and then uh, also winning in Hamburg very easily six love six two. That was all one-way traffic. But Kachanov has already done better in this match than the last one, the one in Hamburg, where he only won two games in the entire match. He's already won three in the first five games here. So changeover is complete. Time is up. Alcaraz now serving. He's under the service pressure as he's serving second in the set. Juan Carlos Ferrero giving him some advice. As once again, he's back on to the same side as his coach. The Magic Box of Madrid. Here we go. First serve wide from Alcaraz. Second now. Takes a nice deep breath. Okay, so I've done a little bit more research into the, the ball person, ball boy, ball situation. So... Actually, he's got a nice little point. Forehand Alcaraz, backhand Hachanov, forehand cross court Alcaraz. That goes long. And again, the point's being dictated by Hachanov. Alcaraz smacking the dirt off of his shoes as he's choosing the balls. Always, always gets four balls from the ball people, ball boys and ball girls, and then narrows it down to two. Some players like Zverev just take whatever is given to him. Doesn't, doesn't matter what, what it is. Some players choose three. It's funny to watch uh, everyone's style. All right, serve up the middle. And then Alcaraz with a drop shot on the plus one. And 
Hachanov tried to redrop, but not enough on that. Didn't even make it to the tape. 15 all. GSL. I just love Karen, his game, his demeanor, everything about him. He just needs to get a huge win like this one to propel him further. Uh, he went up a level by beating Nick in New York. Next step. Yeah, I think the next step is to beat these top 10, top 10 players, um, you know, consistently. It's good to see that he beat Rublev. He beat Pussy Pass recently. So he had a zero for 23. He had a 23 match losing streak against top 10. So he beat Djokovic straight sets. I believe it was a 2019 Paris Masters. Since from then until he beat Sitsi Pass about two tournaments ago, he had lost 23 straight top 10 matches. So now that he's broken that streak, he's also won again against Rublev. So what that leads me to believe is that um, Hachanov is turning the tide and it would be really, really good for us to see him um, get some big wins. So I agree with you totally wholeheartedly, Gary, because I want to see this guy um, fulfill his potential. I mean, this guy has made the uh, semis of the last two majors. He made um, he made it to the semis of Miami as well. So um, I want to see that trend continue. Nice serve, Alcaraz. And the return goes long. Alcaraz with an easy hold there. And um, we are back to level at three games apiece. Karen, 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 Hatchinov. Hello, Mayor, saying hello, Covey. Hello, GTL fam. Hi, Gary. Hi, Sean. Mayor, says Gary. Looks like exciting match. Hachanov began well, I think. You are you are very correct, Mayor. Uh, Hachanov has been dictating the play for most of the match, um, especially on his serve, uh, except on this point where Alcaraz does a, a, a short ball, a drop shot attempt there. Hachanov gets to it, but he pushes it long in the end. So first point of game seven in this first set goes to Carlitos Alcaraz on the Hachanov serve. JJ in the house, Hachanov actually won the silver medal at the Tokyo Olympics in 2021. And a little known fact, he's actually half Armenian. I actually, um, I, I did know about the Armenian part. Um, and I believe his father was also an athlete um, as well. But yeah, um, I did forget about the fact that he's a silver medalist. So thank you, JJ. I, re I really do appreciate that. Alcaraz with a nice point makes his way to the net. Hachanov tries to pass him up the line, but Alcaraz meets it. And hits a beautiful backhand drop volley on the run. And it is now love 30. So a little bit of pressure here on the Hachanov serve. He did a beautiful squash shot. That's what made Alcaraz come in and push it cross court on the short ball. And then Hachanov tried to go up the line off of that short ball. But Alcaraz, beautiful. Like I said, backhand drop shot volley while he was moving to his left. Really nice shot. Um, yeah, so we have an Olympic silver medalist here in Hachanov, um, which I did forget about. And uh, yeah, he lost, I guess, to Zverev in the final. Zverev taking out um, was it Djokovic in the semis. Um, pretty surprising because I believe uh, Djokovic had won the first set pretty, pretty soundly. Um, all right, we got a lob from Hachanov. Alcaraz decides to go with a forehand instead of an overhead smash. And it was a rally ball. That he put back into play, which Hachanov hit into the net. Um, so a little lapse in uh, play from Hachanov after very, very strong service games. He's now at love 40 and he's facing three break points. Not really out of nowhere, but unexpected because, like I said, Hachanov has really been dictating the points, especially on his serve. Okay. First break point, backhand uh, Alcaraz return, forehand Hachanov, backhand Alcaraz, backhand Hachanov, backhand slice Alcaraz, forehand up the line Hachanov, forehand cross court Alcaraz, but it goes long. And the first break point is saved by Hachanov. Couple more in the bag for Carlitos. GSL thanking JJ for the information. Uh, I love the cordiality of our GTL fam. So such politeness. Everyone's very nice, supportive. Break point number two. 
First serve is long. Um, Gary mentioned the demeanor of Hachanov. I also really like his demeanor as well. I think he's a very, uh, I feel like he'd be a really fun guy to talk to, to chat with. I feel like he's very intelligent. Um, kind of like Medvedev. Um, all right. couple moon balls and then Alcaraz backhand off of the second one goes long. So just a easy little moon ball there. It shows, um, Alcaraz's parents, uh, dad and mom fanning herself with a blue... Fan, I guess. What are those things called? The the little, I guess they're just called fans, hand fan. So Hachanov saved two so far. He still has a third one. He must defend. Or will Carlitos break? Let's see. 30 40. First serve. Good. Forehand return. Up the middle. Forehand Hachanov. Forehand Alcaraz. Backhand Hachanov. Backhand Alcaraz. Backhand Hachanov. Backhand Alcaraz. Backhand Hachanov. Backhand up the line. Alcaraz. It hits the line. Uh, Hachanov wasn't sure, and he was about to challenge it, but then he doesn't. He raised his hand in the middle of the point, but then returned the ball, and then Alcaraz cross-court winner forehand, and he breaks for a 4-3. That was interesting because Hachanov, you could tell he wanted to challenge, but he knew that if he challenged, he would have stopped the point. And if he was wrong on the challenge, he would have automatically lost. So he raised his hand halfway, but then put it down and then just hit the forehand getting the ball back, but it ended up being like, a, because he wasn't focused on it, he just kind of, uh, it was a really a slow ball, and Alcaraz, it was a short one, and Alcaraz just pu pulverized it. So they're showing the replay here. So here we go. Alcaraz cross court, and then uh, next one goes up the line. Ooh, that might have been wide, actually. Hachanov goes like this. But then, yeah, like I said, he just hits like a desperation forehand Oh, gosh. And now that they showed the replay, it feels like that might have been... Anyways, it officially is a break. Did I hit the break button? I'm not sure. I'm going to do it anyway. Mayor saying big trouble for Karen. And we have Sharifa Deeb. Sharifa, thank you so much for your, comp or for your comment. We really appreciate... When new people come and say hello, it says, I honestly can't see Karen going any further than this. I, I agree with you. I think um, Hachanov has to play his best tennis for the entire match, I, I feel, if he wants to take out Alcaraz on the clay in Spain. Uh, Alcaraz, 18-match winning streak on clay in Spain. Uh, he obviously feels very at home when he's at home. So, um, yeah, I think I, I agree with you, but... Um, but I do think it is possible for Hachanov to win. I just I am kind of doubting it right now based on their form and everything right now. Hi, Covey and everyone. Salute to you, my friend Suwon Lim. One of my faves in the house. One of Gobi's faves. Okay, it's a game over. Good game, Alcaraz. Uh, Covey gets it done, Cedric. Muchas gracias, amigo. Chat is fire. He says, I knew. I hate Alcaraz now. Sorry. Menor. Menorah goes from love to hate rather quickly, um, but I can see why. I know you want to see some close matches here. So first point, Alcaraz backhand on the plus one goes long. First point goes to Hachanov, and it's love 15. 31 minutes into this one, we are um, nearing the final third of this first set. Nice serve up the tee. Not an ace, but Hachanov... Uh, just gets a racket face on it. Doesn't even make it to the net before bouncing. And it is 15 all. So nice easy point for Carlitos. Everyone's saying hi to Mayor and Menor. Thumbs up Menor. Hi Suwan. Cedric, peace. Nice to see you, says Mayor. Mayor, peace, says Suwan. Alcaraz has no competition anymore. Um... Some people are saying that in this tournament that um, that it's pretty much um, Alcaraz or bust. Obviously, on paper he is, but remember, folks, we got to play the matches. You never know what can happen. Um, nice forehand return from Hachanov was an absolute rocket cross court, and it's a winner. Uh, I think that passed Alcaraz before he even landed on the ground uh, on the follow through from his serve. That's how fast that re return winner was. Oof. 
Gosh, that was ferocious. Um, Mayor is saying to Sue Wan, Alcaraz has no competition. How about Joker? Yeah, we'll, hopefully we'll find out in Rome. Now the thing, now I'm starting to wonder. Now let's say if Alcaraz, oh, he does that out wide kick serve and he and he executes it well, and the return goes long. So we're at thirty all. The thing about uh, Joker and Alcaraz now is if Alcaraz does continue on and make it to the semis or the finals, that means he will have played what um, quite a few matches in a row. And I really hope that, let's say, if he makes it to the finals, I hope he's not too tired to start at Rome. Um, or maybe they'll do like a little maintenance break. I don't know. I, I, I hope not, but it would be a real bummer if, um, we don't see both of them in that tournament as well as Rafa, by the way, Hachanov with a really tricky backhand that, uh, fooled Alcaraz. It landed on the line and Alcaraz just kind of punched it back, uh, and it landed long. So that sets up a break point here, folks. Hachanov now looking to break right back. He was broken in the last game in the... The seventh game. Now here in game number eight, he ha finds himself up 30-40. Can he convert? Bring us back to level. Let's see. First serve, Alcaraz on the kick is a great serve. And the return is long. Wow, that one had a lot of kick. Um, when a person like, when a player like Hachanov, who's six foot five, has to reach that high uh, to hit that ball, you know it's a wonderful kick. So nicely done. Um, Mayor not playing Madrid. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I should have mentioned that. SWL says GSL. Sitsi pass. Uh, oh, backhand slice uh, battle going on here. Now backhand Hachanov. And he goes topspin and it goes into the net. So Alcaraz from break point down now has a game point looking to consolidate. Sitsi pass. Uh, Going to be denied so many titles by Alcaraz. Might get annoying after a while. Honestly, I... I I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. I was reading someone saying uh, the next gen, they took too long to to become relevant. Uh, and the, the old guard kept on kind of winning the, the majors. So now it's the new gen that's going to take over. Um, so it's like they missed their whole window. A lot of people were saying the Rublevs, the Medvedevs, the Sitsi Passes, the Zverevs. Alcaraz with an ace. A very hard ace up the tee for the consolidation. 5-3 lead for the Spaniards. Vamos, Carlos Alcalas. Uno, dos, tres, vamos. Vamos, Carlos Alcalas. Oh my goodness, what a point to start off this game, folks. It was amazing. Um, Hachanov ends up taking it, but uh, let's see, they show the replay. So Hachanov goes up the line, forehand. Then he makes his way to the net, does a backhand chip that lands into the corner. Alcaraz with some crazy defense, pushes it up the line. Easy cross-court backhand volley for Hachanov. Alcaraz tries to race it down, but can't get to it. So... 15 love Hachanov. Okay, serve is good. And oh gosh, serve up the middle. Return was a little bit of a short ball. And then Hachanov pul pulverizes the forehand up the line. And he takes it 30 love real quick here. Um, so Mayor, ranking will change if Alcaraz wins Madrid. Uh, no. I mean, will he become world? No, but this is what will happen, uh, Mayor. If Alcaraz wins Madrid. He will be exactly five points behind Djokovic. Also, Alcaraz, oh, by the way, another beautiful forehand, this time an inside-out ripper, screamer from Hachanov. So other than that one game where he got broken when he was up, uh, when he was down love 40, um, other than that one game where he got broken, he's been just killing it. Like even after... This is the first game since uh, he got broken, and he's just killing it right now. So that one little lapse could cost him the first set. Backhand slice, uh, drop Alcaraz, and Hachanov uh, volleys that, or gets to it and pushes it up. Alcaraz volleys that over his head for a winner. A volley lob from Alcaraz. Gosh, this guy has just so many weapons in his arsenal, and he's so good at selecting the right shot. Uh, Hachanov digs that that 
drop shot he's forced to push it upwards so alcaraz is there with time and he's like what should i do go up the line no i'm gonna i'm gonna volley this lob um so yeah there we go 40 15 now first serve into the net so second serve now hachanov um oh yeah what i was saying about the the for the ranking i'll get to that in a second Alcaraz with a beautiful backhand return, but Hachanov, great reach and defense to get that back. Now Alcaraz up the line, but Hachanov lob, and that goes super high, but lands back on his side. So Alcaraz saves a couple of game points from 40 love. Now it is 40-30, but Hachanov still has a chance um, to wrap this game up. So what I was saying, Mayor, is if Alcaraz wins this tournament, he'll be exactly five points behind Djokovic. Last year... Alcaraz did not play in Rome. So that means he has zero points to defend there and Djokovic won Rome. So basically what happens is if Alcaraz wins Madrid and if Joker does not win in Rome, then Alcaraz will be number one heading into the French. Okay, second serve from Hachanov. Forehand Alcaraz up the line and the forehand from Hachanov goes long. And uh, Hachanov has blown a 40-love lead. He had three game points, and now he's facing a deuce and a potential Alcaraz um, first set if he can win these next two points. So there you go. FAA, Rude, Tiafo, all regressed, uh, not yet mayor. Hey, Cedric. Hey, Covey and GTL fam. Peach is one of our brightest and best in the house. Uh, needs to win one more tournament. Um, hi, Peaches. We've got lots of high Peaches. Hello, hello. Hi, Covey. In work, but hope Karem can get the win. That's M's in the house. Great to have you, M's. Um, was it 452 over there? So I guess you're pretty close to the end of the workday. All right. So Alcaraz now four points in a row. And uh, when he from when it was 40 love. Hachanov, and now Alcaraz has the advantage, and it's a set point, first set point in set number one here. So, unexpected um, after such a strong start to this game. I was praising Hachanov. Nice uh, chip return from Alcaraz is very short. Hachanov easily inside out forehand into the open court, and he saves a break there. So, back to Deuce. Uh, hi, M's. We got Hey, Sue, Mayor, M, Cedric. Alcaraz, Runa, Sinner, Draper, Shelton era. Yeah, and uh, Arthur Feast as well, I want to throw in there. Uh, maybe I'm a little early on that one, but I really like the way that guy plays. And also that Luca Van Asha, the other um, French kid who, who took Djokovic to three recently at the Banya Luca. Um, nice. Serve out wide and serve and volley from Hachanov. Beautiful touch on the backhand as he does a, a uh, drop volley. Uh, Alcaraz didn't even try. Rare to see Alcaraz not go for it. That's how nicely he struck it. Peaches says, um, says Gary, oh, I stayed in Suwon during my childhood. Um, says Suwon, hey, Sue and Peaches. Oh, ghosty in the house. Okay, it's uh, advantage uh, Hachanov. Serve is good. Forehand Alcaraz. Now backhand Hachanov lands nice and deep. Forehand from Alcaraz into the net. Hachanov holds and will force Alcaraz to serve out the first set. Making me look a little uh, decent potentially as I had a 6-4, 6-4 Alcaraz win uh, in my prediction list. We got Ghost, uh, Uncle Ghosty saying, I may have missed my window too. That's why I'm taking a sledgehammer to the wall. Metaphorically speaking, patios are bigger than windows. Um, okay. I think I might have missed some stuff in the chat. I'm, um, some of this going over my head. I see Carlo wised up and started to play serious because he knows he can beat uh, Karen, but Karen is no slouch. Um, he can go shot for shot with Carlitos, but he does not have the finesse like Carlos. Carlos. Yes, I agree with you there. Um, he definitely has the power to match, but not the finesse. Right now, he's also moving really well. I'm, I'm, I'm very impressed right now, I got to say. Um, hey, Gary, says Peaches. We got, think positively, folks. When life gives you lemons, get yourself a bigger slingshot. <laughs> okay. Uh, hello, Ghost. I stay in Gochang, but sometimes in Busan. Very, very cool. Um, I studied in the Philippines, in Philippines College and Medicine. That's amazing. World Traveler over here. Hey, Peaches, says uh, Ghost. M's. Ghost, hello. 
Suwon Lim, that's amazing. Yeah, I agree. Tiafo won Houston. How is that a regression? Um, don't forget Shevchenko Kavi. <laughs> um, ah, I haven't really watched him yet. Uh, I, ha I have to. It's these the other guys I've seen play, and they they give me vibes of like you know, they're they're like young guns with fire in their eyes type of thing. I haven't watched Shevchenko yet, so uh, I'm gonna reserve judgment. But I will also take your endorsement highly, um, and I will do my best to watch one of his matches soon. Um, don't be taking any trains to Busan. That's the name of a movie, right? Uh, Ghost uh, didn't uh, didn't win with any top twenty players in Houston. Um, I don't think so. He beat Echeverry in the final. It was a nice final. All right, so Alcaraz now serving for the first set here, folks. 5-4. First serve is wide of the tee. Here comes the second serve. By the way, folks, give us a like and a subscribe if you're new. Uh, that way you will be up to date on all of our upcoming videos and when they will be going live. Love 15 as Alcaraz concedes the first point on his serve we do have 26 likes and we have about 39 people in so it's almost uh it's about two-thirds of everyone has shown the love thank you all very very much okay here we go carlitos in a tough match here but has a chance to serve out the first set he's down love 15 and first serve is long second serve on the way Second serve is good. Now, backhand Hachanov. Backhand uh, slice Alcaraz. Ooh, lands just long. Usually, he's pretty uh, pretty money with that shot. Surprising to see that one go long. Thir I love 30 now. So, Hachanov threatening, putting on the pressure here. Mmm. Ah. Had a blackberry seed stuck in my tooth and it just came out. Love that feeling. Um, uh, Sean, Pachano got more four, four more games than I would have got. So, yes, nice serve uh, out wide. And then the forehand plus one to the opposite side. Beautifully done there, Carlitos. And then a big roar afterwards. I think he knew that this was a very important point. One thing about Carlitos, he understands the magnitude of the moment, um, especially when it gets down to the nitty gritty. Folks, uh, by the way, I should also mention that we are. Um, oh, beautiful kick serve. And it's the third time he's done super wide kick serve. And all three times the return has gone long. Oh, 30 all back to level here. By the, by the way, folks, we are we are into the business end. <laughs> Um, come on, Karen, break him. Come on, says Mayor. Absolutely enjoyed watching Zhang yesterday. Intense player with skills, very well spoken after the match. I was floored watching that. I, I watched that one as well, Gary, the third set uh, with Fritz. And man, was that an amazing match. Saved three match points. Um, yeah, just the gutsy. This guy has won six. I think he's... He lost his first tie break. By the way, beautiful serve right at the body. Um, Hachanov couldn't get out of the way on time to get a clean shot, and the ball ricochets in a haywire manner. Alcaraz now, second set point, first of this game, 40-30. Can he serve it out? Let's see. First serve is wide. He did another one of those super wide kickers. Um, but it did not make it into the service box. Second serve now, set point again. Is good, backhand return, backhand Alcaraz, backhand Hachanov, backhand Alcaraz, backhand Hachanov, backhand slice, Alcaraz goes wide. Second time in a row that he's done that backhand slice and it's gone wide. Uh, sorry, the, well, that one was wide and long. Both of them went long, but... Um, so back to level here at Deuce. Um, Cedric saying, give a like and Covey might rap. Oh yeah, I, I did spit a rap when we got a hundred likes the other day. Uh, Mayor, what's your favorite Korean food? Interesting. Let's see what's going on. 
interesting to know what happens with the answers here. Going dark for a few minutes. We'll be back soon. Do your thing, GSL. Gary agreed that match uh, yesterday. Zhang versus Fritz was amazing. It really was. Alcaraz, a uh, nice serve and volley, and then he puts away a punch forehand um, at the net there. So another set point, third one of the set, second of this game. Can he put it away? I asked it last time. The answer was no. Let's see if he can do it on the second attempt. GSL, Zhang clutched it. Yeah, man, he's got a, such a big serve. He got a high toss, so it's really hard for players receiving to know if he's going up the line or out wide. Um, hey, Cedric, says M. So, yeah, really, really big fan of uh, the way Zhang played that match. First serve, Alcaraz long. Suwan, many are uh, are there. Bim, bibimbap, Kanpungi, fried chicken, Samgyepsal. I uh, hope I didn't butcher all of those words, but I feel like I probably did. Um, backhand Alcaraz up the line. Forehand Hachanov, and it lands in. Forehand Alcaraz, forehand Hachanov. Forehand Alcaraz inside out. Hachanov on defense here, lobs it really high, and it lands in the alleyway. Alcaraz twists and fist pumps to his box as he takes the first set, 6-4, to four, just as I had predicted. <sighs> Yeah, no big deal here, folks. It's your boy, Covey. Uh, let's give it up one time for our first set. Um, Victor, I guess you could say, the man who took the first set, Carlos Alcaraz. Vamos, Carlos Alcaraz. Uno, dos, tres, vamos. Vamos, Carlos Alcaraz. All right, folks. So a reminder that after this match, um, in about in three hours from now, is scheduled our uh, women's quarterfinal. We have. Um, let me just get to this real quick. We will have world number one Iga Swiatek taking on Petra Martic. So. Um, that is going to be three hours from now. And Game to Love Tennis Podcast will be streaming that one live. So make sure after you're done watching this stream with me that you uh, load up our next stream. It's going to be Iga versus Petra Martic quarterfinal action from the women's side. Um, yeah. So Iga, this is the furthest she's ever made it in this tournament. She came here in 2021 and made it to the round of 16, I believe. And so now she's into the quarters for the very first time. Uh, didn't make it here last year. She was uh, in the middle of her 37-match winning streak last year. So I'm not sure exactly where she played. But the schedule has been altered now that uh, this is a two-week uh, Masters 1000. They're, they're, they're elongating all the Masters to two weeks now, it seems like. So, um, yeah, a little bit of information for you there. And, remi and to remind you, uh, we got more game to love action later on today. Um, Zhang never gave up, not like Chelsea, says Cedric. Uh, you said it correctly. Oh, very, very uh, surprising, actually. Uh, thank you, Suwan. Suwan saying good foods, Mayor. You got your spicy. Uh, do you have some tripes or sunde? Um, gosh, I don't know what any of these things are. I'm going to have to look some of them up. All right. As he did in set number one, Hachanov will serve first. Um, Alcaraz took the first set six to four and is halfway to a semi-final berth. Um, in case uh, anyone is wondering, the winner of this match will face the winner of the uh, the other quarter uh, quarterfinal today, will, which will be Altmaier versus Borna Chorich. All right, first serve wide from Hachanov. Ooh, Alcaraz, that was a weird. He went off his racket and went straight downward. It didn't he, like, literally bounce right in front of him. Uh, anyways, 15 love Hachanov. 52 minutes into this one. First set took 50 minutes. Okay, first serve is a let. Sean said, uh, I said four, he said four and three for the score, six, four, six, three. So could be, yep. Um, let's see, we had, yeah, we had, uh, we had a six, three, six, one, I think. We had a six, four, six, three, and then I had six, four, six, four. 
So, Sean, looks like you and I are in the running. Let's see. Ooh, short ball uh, for Alcaraz, and he unloaded on it. He had the whole entire um, inside outside of the court, but he went long on it. Hachanov with a freebie there, and it's 30 love. Gene, South Africa's finest. Uh, Covey just coming in to say hello, as I'm not a Carlos fan, but hopefully the stream is going well so far. Yes, Gene, it is. Thank you for joining us and saying hello. Really, really appreciate it. And hey, Gene, if you haven't done so yet, please give us a like. We really appreciate your support. Hello, Gene, says Suwon Lim. By the way, folks, we are up to 32 likes. Not too shabby. We have 40 people, so more than... 75% on the batting average there, um, which would be a phenomenal batting average, by the way. If you if you bat four out of ten, um, that's that's Hall of Fame numbers there, um, even a little less than that. So Hachanov, 40-15, looking to wrap up this game. Um, basically, the first set went like this, folks. Tight first service game for each player. Then um, much easier service games for each player. Until Hachanov got broken. Uh, out of nowhere, he got broken. And then uh, after he got broken, he was playing solid again. So he just had kind of one lapse. And that one lapse cost him the set. And nice serve out wide. Forehand return. Carlitos goes wide as well. And it's a hold for Hachanov. Just as he did at the beginning of the last one. A little bit of love for the Russian. Karim. 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 No, Karim, 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 Hat Shinom. Hat Shinom. Karim, Karim. All right, Alcaraz serving. First serve is good. Forehand return. Now forehand Alcaraz. Forehand Hachanov. Gosh, nice forehands from Hachanov. Forehand Alcaraz. Now drop shot. out. Oh, my gosh. The forehand uh, was followed by a drop shot that was really uh, landed in the alley by about a foot and a half. You don't see him that far off on those drop shots re uh, usually. So um, interesting, interesting for sure. All right. Love 15. Hachanov, again, feels like he's controlling the points again. It was like he was controlling the points for most of the first set, gets broken, loses, and then he's back to controlling, uh, except for that one. Alcaraz ran him back and forth and back again, and then he takes a forehand up the line winner. Hachanov could not reach that last one. So... The Hachanov ground strokes right now are, are are what's really impressive, I think. That's what I'm um that's what I'm kind of trying to say is that when he has the chance to dictate a play, he takes the offensive right away, which is good to see for Hachanov. Oh yeah, I was mentioning about the ball girls. So I I, I did a little bit of research. So we've got on the main court on men's uh, men's games, we have these like models in crop tops and you know, cocktail skirts. Ooh, beautiful, beautiful drop shot. So, the exact opposite is the last one that went wide and looked haywire. This one was a, a beauty, struck cleanly, landed uh, just over the net, and bounced short. Everything you want in a drop shot. And so, yeah, uh, these, the, these, these really pretty girls, uh, that are the ball girls in the crop, crop tops and the skirts, they are doing. The center court men's matches only, I believe. I don't think that they're doing the women's matches. And then on all the other courts, they have like actual ball boys and ball girls, you know, full full top covering their midriff and everything. And um, so a little more appropriate because at first I was like, what's going on here? But then I found out that the, the girls are actually women. They're not girls because I thought it was a little not a good look to, to have that for young girls. So it's a good thing that they don't. Um, Alcaraz goes forehand into the net there. So 30 all here on his serve. Karim. Karim. All right. Uh, hopefully we'll get some more, uh, 
some more uh, intense rallies, some more fun rallies. For serve. Oh, I thought that was in. I would have challenged that if I was Carlos, but he does not. Second serve coming up, 30 all. <laughs> Nice serve, backhand return, backhand cross-court. Alcaraz makes the way to the net. Hachanov cross-court, but it doesn't make it over the net. So Alcaraz, no need to volley. He has a game point now, up 40-30. Magic mouse, baby. Pretty sweet. 30. Hmm. Okay, good serve. Backhand return. Backhand Hachanov up the line, but forehand cross court Carlitos. Forehand Hachanov tries to go up the line, but it's wide. Alcaraz holds. And we are at one game apiece early in set number two. All right, all right. 33 likes, about 39 people in. Thank you guys so much for your support. So many of you given all the love. Um, can't thank you guys enough. Hmm. So let's see, realistically... The remaining players, Karatsev, Zhang, Sitsipas, Struf, Chorich, Altmaier, Hachanov, Alcaraz. Definitely the cream of the crop. Alcaraz, Hachanov, Sitsipas there. Chorich is a close. Although Karatsev, when he's playing well, it can also kill it. All right, overhead for Hachanov, and he puts it away on the high lob from Alcaraz. So... Smart play from Alcaraz, honestly. Um, try to make him hit overheads. Um, one thing about Hachanov is I've seen him have the opportunity on really easy overheads to smash it into the crowd. But he, it's like he puts too much of a straight angle. He, he doesn't hit it downwards and up. He hits it kind of too straight. And um, I feel like you should go for those into the crowd because those are guaranteed points. No one's going to be able to jump as high as you can hit that ball into the air off a of bounce. Um, so it would be a decent strategy if you needed to use it to lob on Hachanov. All right, Hachanov, nice serve. And then the easy plus one forehand winner on the medium short ball from Alcaraz on the return. 30 love now for the Russian. Hmm. 8.13 here a.m. in Vancouver, which means it's 5.13 p.m. in Madrid, right in the middle of the evening there. Good conditions for tennis. Little drop from uh, Hachanov. Alcaraz makes it to the net and pushes it up. Now we got a little cat and mouse. Uh, lob over Alcaraz. Alcaraz tries to go tweener, but it goes into the net. Hachanov is up 40 love. Yeah. 40 40 love. Definitely not uh nothing like yesterday in terms of uh ease for Carlitos. He definitely had a very easy outing. So surprisingly easy, I think for us and for him how how easily he beat uh Zverev yesterday. Hachanov with a beauty serve out wide. Alcaraz uh, not even anywhere near the court with that return. And uh, Alcaraz will serve on serve at 1-2 after the break. Um, one more. Uh, oh, that was, a hold to, that was a hold to love as well. So it should give this one a button. Karim, 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 Hatch, no. Hatchinov up two to one, but we are on serve here early in set number two. Alcaraz. Um, hmm, getting a close up here of the of Hachanov at his bench. So 
remember I was saying I couldn't tell if his hat is a very dark navy blue or if it's black. The hat itself is black. The wristbands are a dark navy blue. So there you go. New information. Take it. Take with it what you will, folks. Oh, speaking of take, I will take some water because uh, I'm getting a little parched here. Okay, some encouragement from JFC. Or sorry, <laughs> JC, did I say JFC? JCF, Juan Carlos Ferrero, the coach of Alcaraz, who's on the same side as his charge at the moment. So they're allowed to freely communicate. Uh, man, the comments section has been very, very chill. Everyone awake out there? You guys asleep? Let me know what's going on. Alcaraz first serve goes wide. <clears throat> Here we go. Second serve is a let. Nice serve. Backhand return. Now backhand slice Alcaraz. Forehand uh, chip uh, is a short one from Hachanov. Alcaraz goes off. Goes up to it. What happened? They, they cut the camera angle before they showed it bounce. Alcaraz, it went off the tape, and then it bounced upwards, and then literally the camera feed just went straight to Alcaraz. I guess it showed, yeah, I guess it went out or on, landed back on his side because the score is showing love 15. That was weird. Uh, you never see that where the, the cameraman, it, it literally went off the tape, bounced upwards, and then the camera feed just went directly to close-up of Alcaraz. So it didn't even show the ball bounce or land. Weird. Okay, nice uh, out wide serve. This time the return goes in. Backhand slice Hachanov. Forehand Alcaraz. Oh, he was he was fooled by that. He thought it was going to go out. He was trying to run around the backhand, and when it bounced, he just wasn't in p position. And then he just kind of chunked a forehand into the net. Really weird play. Um, so now a little bit of pressure Alcaraz. He's down love 30. Uh, on his serve. He's been down love 30 twice already on his serve and he's made his way out. But uh, you don't want to take too many chances, especially with the way that uh, Hachanov is striking the ball off the ground right now. Um, blue da da bee da ba da ba da ba. Oh, we okay. All right, folks, I just noticed something is going on with my uh. My streaming platform because it's not loading up the comments. The last comment I had was from 13 minutes ago. But when I look on the YouTube stream, it looks like there's tons of comments going on. So uh, sorry, folks, for missing your comments, but it's not loading up on my something weird going on. Apologies there, folks, because I'm looking at the comments. The last comment I have is from Sue Wong that says hi to Gene. At 8.05. Right now it's 8.13. Um, oh, Alcaraz makes his way to the net and he had a little volley. Couldn't get it over. And now we have a double break point for Hachanov. Hachanov. First, uh, <clears throat> first real pressure. Alcaraz has saved two out of two break points so far in the match. But he'll face... Uh, at least one, if not two more here from Hachanov. Here we go. Big moment. First serve is a nice one out wide. The return goes and lands in the alley cross court. So Alcaraz saves one uh, with a big serve. Free, pretty, pretty good free point there. So I don't know. I feel like if I hit refresh, I won't be able to see the... I don't want to take the chance here. Hmm... This is really a bummer because none of the comments have loaded, although I see on the YouTube, on my on my other tab that I have open. Amanda Berbert. Um, welcome, Amanda. Again, I can't really... I have to go back and forth to read them. Gobi! Shh. It's okay. It's okay. Go say hi. Go say hi. Nice uh, out wide serve, return cross court, backhand Alcaraz, forehand Hachanov, forehand Alcaraz, and it's long. Hachanov breaks 
and it's the first break of the third set goes to the Russian. All right, so Alcaraz gets broken. He's been looking uh, like the second best player for a lot of this match. So um, good on you, Hachanov, for getting the break here early in this second set. Um, now the real pressure is on. See if Carlitos can dial it up a bit. First serve out wide, cross-court forehand return, then forehand up the line. Hachanov makes way to the net, but Alcaraz with a beautiful backhand cross uh, on the run. Cross-court winner, beautiful shot, and it is uh, love 15. Definitely, uh, these, that's one of those points where if you paused it halfway through and said, well, Alcaraz win this point, 99.9% uh, .9 of the people would be like, heck no. But um, that 1% of the person would be in the money. All right. First serve at love 15 off the tape. High bounce lands in. So we have another first serve as that ends up being a let. Um, gosh, I'm really, really. I'm really nervous because if I refresh the page, the program, the site that I'm streaming from, I'm scared that I'll lose. You, I'll, I'll, you guys will lose the feed. But if I don't do it, then I won't. It's not loading up my comments. So I can't see any of these comments uh, in real time. Uh, forehand Alcaraz chip uh, now forehand up the line Hachanov now he makes his way to the net uh, pushes a volley and then Alcaraz ball uh, desperation backhand lob over Hachanov it lands in and then Hachanov goes into the net with his forehand wow Alcaraz has won two points so far in this game both of the points that have been played and he had no business winning either of them um, seriously those both of those points were stolen Hachanov, nice push volley up the, the line backhand. Alcaraz runs to his, his darndest and then flips a lob over Hachanov's head. He has to run back uh, to the baseline from the net, turns around and fires the forehand into the net. Um, so Alcaraz putting on the pressure, folks. Okay. We got a backhand cross court from Hachanov. Alcaraz backhand tries to go up the line, but this time it goes into the net. If you won that one, boy, that would have been crazy. Um, Hachanov now 15 30. Actually, you know what? Maybe I'm going to try doing something. Okay. All right, folks. Hey, Gobi. Gobi's in the house. Hey, Snail. I'm, I'm looking that Snail's in the... Oh, Max is also in the house. Hello, Max. How are you? Um, for some reason, I my my chat isn't loading, guys. So, ooh, another, another one from Alcaraz. Wide there. And he's looking at his box like, come on, what's going on? I know I can do this. 30 all. Hachanov makes his way back. Uh, and check it out. Hit the like button, folks. Yes, please do hit the like button. Uh, we are currently at 36 likes. We've got 40 people in here. So 9 out of uh, 10 people are giving us likes. That's a pretty great number. Thank you all very much. Nice serve up the middle. Backhand block return. Uh, drop shot from Hachanov. Alcaraz races his darndest, but does not make it. Uh, his racket does touch before the bounce, but it goes off the end of the racket. And Hachanov now, after being down love 30, um, has game point. Um, okay, so so unfortunately, folks, as I've been mentioning, I do not have the ability to load the chat for some reason. It's really bothering me. Um, so I'm going to have to go back and forth between a second um, open tab to read the actual chats from YouTube. Um, Hachanov holds another strong service game, and he is up. Um, is he up four to two now? Four one. Oh wow, four to one. Uh, up a break is Karen Hachanov. Karen, Karen, Karen Hachanov. Karen, Karen, Karen Hachanov.
Right. So yeah, just reading through some of these comments, folks, because like, uh, like I said, I have to go back and forth between pages. Uh, normally, it's all on one page, but something's going on. Amanda Berbert saying, uh, Boa tarde. I think that means pretty late. Um, welcome, Amanda. We also have, I said, I mentioned, uh, but Max came into the house. Snehill also, welcome to all of our regulars. Cameraman auditioning with his jump cut skills. Uh, yeah, I guess in re reference to that one where it went off the, the tape, um, Snehill, I feel like Hachanov takes a set. Uh, yeah, looking good right now um, for that. The disco, the Maltese disco mate saying hello and saying, Cubby, welcome disco mate. Um, so it looks like we're up to date on the chat, which is good to see. Um, but really bummed that I can't see it on my end here. Uh you can play the ad and reload your screen. Um, see, the thing is, I'm just scared that if I reload it, that it will lose my feed. Um, you know what? I think Ben said that there's like a five minute wait. Like if you say if your internet cuts out, it stays on for for five ah you know what i'm not going to take the chance nice serve and the plus one is a beautiful drop shot off right off the bat alcaraz takes the first point and it's 15 love okay <clears> hour <throat> and 15 minutes into it, folks. 75 minutes in. Alcaraz is up a set, down a break, serving at 1-4 here in set number two. 15 love, and it is a second serve on the way. Nice serve. Backhand return. Backhand Alcaraz. Forehand Hachanov with a lot of power. Alcaraz can't handle that. Backhand goes into the net. 15 all. Yeah, Hachanov's playing really well, folks. Um, if you've been watching from the beginning, I've been mentioning from the outset, he's been playing better. He's been hitting the ball better off the ground. Um, he had one one lapse in, uh, and got broken. He was quickly um, was down love 40 in one of his service games and ended up getting broken. And that was the only kind of lull he had. Other than that, he's been playing great before and after that, that one service game. Alcaraz backhand, backhand Hachanov, and that one goes long. So Alcaraz, 30-15 here on his serve, trying to stay within one break of Hachanov. Of course, if he loses this game, Hachanov will have a chance to serve out the set. Hachanov. All right, beauty serve out wide, a high return, and it's a it ends up being a overhead, and Alcaraz completely shanks and flubs it. A uh, total miss hit from Carlito. Yeah, yeah that hit the uh, that hit the V underneath his racket, uh, underneath the string bed. So we're we're like the string, yeah. And it hit the V part. So he's really, really mistimed that one. Unforced errors, 20 for Alcaraz, 10 Hachanov. It's another big reason why this match, um, uh, Alcaraz has not been able to take too much momentum. His unforced error count is pretty high. We got a lob from Hachanov. Alcaraz with another chance at an overhead. And this time is a little safer with it. Chipped back Hachanov. Drop shot Alcaraz off of that. And it's a win. It's a winner. And he has a game point now. 40-30 does. Carlitos. Um, Rublev on clay is tough, and he beat him in straight sets. Yeah, definitely. I, I mean, I was also curious to... I was wondering if there was um, fatigue. Rublev has been playing lots of tennis, been winning quite a bit lately, so... Um, but definitely don't want to take anything away from Hachanov. He ha earned it, and it was a really good win, so agree with you there. Beating Rublev on clay in this form... Um, means that you're doing some stuff very well. 
First serve into the net. Here's second serve at game point 40-30 out wide and then return cross court. Alcaraz tries to go drop shot off of that, but once again goes into the net. So he's just his rhythm, his range is not as on. Uh, yesterday he was 100% on right from the get-go. Um, today he missed his first two drop shots, one of them into the net, one of them wide. He hit another two that were pretty wide and, and missy as well. So, um, yeah, definitely not his not his best day at the moment. But he's still up a set, down a break. So not over yet. Oh, an easy backhand on the short ball, very short ball return. And he hits that into the net. Um, and, yeah, you really get the sense here. Uh, total points, one in the set. Wow, 22-17 Hachanov. You really get the sense here that Alcaraz – probably going to concede this set doesn't look too good for him uh, in terms of body language overall rhythm um, and scoreline here we go nice kick serve backhand return cross court drop shot again Alcaraz and again it's a beauty so he saves a break point with a gutsy uh, drop shot so uh, just two points after I said he his drop shot wasn't looking so great today he executes a perfect one Shows how much I know, huh? All right. Chachanov. Max, what's what song are you listening to these days? What's your go-to most uh, most played song these days? Always curious to know. Max is one of our resident uh, musical experts. Always weaving uh, song lyrics into uh, her comments. All right. Second serve at Deuce is good. Backhand return up the middle. Forehand Alcaraz. Forehand Hachanov with lots of power. Alcaraz. Forehand goes into the net. It's tough. Um, you know, when Hachanov is uh, hitting his ground strokes like this, his forehand is like, I don't maybe not fully level with Alcaraz, but it, it does as much damage. Ah, we do finally have a comment showing up in. Uh, so maybe they're starting to show up again. Um, nope. Actually, not really. We, I see M's commented. Yes, Karen gets a set at least. But it's not showing up on my other one. I don't know what's going on here. All right. Uh, advantage Hachanov. First serve long. Second serve now. So Hachanov break point, And he has a second serve to take a look at. Serve is good. Backhand return. Backhand up the line. Alcaraz. And it's called in. Landed right on the baseline. A little close for comfort. But in the end... Uh, Alcaraz gets the point, and it is back to Deuce. Ooh. Beautifully struck, but very close. A little close for comfort, I'd say. First serve is good. Forehand return into the net. So, game point, Carlitos. Not out yet. Uh, hi, baby. How you doing, Kobe? A little boo-boo. <clears throat> oh, I just love yawning. It gets all the shakes and, you know, all that stuff out of the body. All right. Serve. Kicker out wide. And it's the return into the middle. Alcaraz holds. And it is 2-4. So... I'm going to give Alcaraz a button because that was a gutsy hold, but he's still down a break. Vamos, Carlos Alcaraz. Uno, dos, tres, vamos. Vamos, Carlos Alcaraz. Vamos. Vamos, Carlos Alcaraz. All right, Hachanov serving up a break, 4-2. He's down a set, but up a break, serving at 4-2 here. Into, it looks like the wind is picking up. Nice serve, forehand return, Alcaraz long, and it's very quickly 15 love. An hour and 22 into this one. We got a, a look here at the box of Alcaraz, his brother's there, his trainer, his coach, his agent. First serve is good. Backhand a lob return. And it goes long. 
Alcara, I don't want to say he looks like disinterested because he never looks disinterested. You know, he always wants to win for sure. But there's something like I, I do kind of get the feeling that he might be like, OK, you know, let's ride out this set, but then regroup for the third, um, which is rare to get that feeling from him. Oh, beautiful ball striking. And uh, Kachanov goes inside out and a forehand. Beautiful. Uh, Alcaraz short ball and then inside uh, and then inside in forehand for the win. Called out, but he challenges it. And Alcaraz takes a look and confirms it. So they don't even show the video. Uh, they just uh, basically Alcaraz conceded the point when he saw that it was in. So 40 love, triple game point for Hachanov. First serve into the net. Here comes the second serve. We have Alessandro. With the dot, dot, dot. Welcome, Alessandro. Thanks for coming in. Backhand cross-court return, Alcaraz. And Hachanov uh, gets a backhand on it, and that lands into the alleyway. So he tried to block it, but too much of a, uh, too much power for him to cut off the angle there. Now it's 40-15, still a couple game points for the Russian. Ooh. Okay, we got a backhand Carlitos. Beautiful backhand uh, desperation shot was a high one. Forehand swinging volley from Alcaraz up the line. And Hachanov cannot handle that. And that goes out long. Um, and it is 40-30 uh, now. So from 40 love, a little bit of pressure. This happened before once. Um where Hachanov was up 40 love and got broken. First serve, it's off the tape and long, so Alcaraz will have a look at a second serve here. Good serve, forehand return, forehand from Hachanov, forehand Alcaraz, forehand Hachanov, backhand Alcaraz. Ooh, backhand slice. Hachanov, forehand inside out, Alcaraz, backhand slice, Hachanov, and it lands long. So we're at deuce again, folks. Um, this has happened once before where Alcaraz was down 40 love on the Hachanov serve and then won five straight points for the break. Well, he was down 40 love and he's now won three straight points to bring it back to deuce. But what will happen next, folks? Can he break back to get to level? We will find out. Hachanov has been playing some great tennis, though, all day today. Yeah, the wind. You can see the wind in the Hachanov shirt. First serve out wide is wide, so we have a second on the way here. So some more second serve ball for Alcaraz to look at. Serve is good. Backhand return. Ooh, just goes wide. It was a great serve, actually, right at the body. Alcaraz couldn't get out of the way quick enough to get a good strike on that ball. So he just kind of it bounced off of his racket and landed wide. Points played on serve, 55 to 55. So very even in terms of um, pressure and points played on serve for either player. Nice serve is uh, out wide, backhand return. Now forehand Hachanov, forehand Alcaraz, defensive. And then inside out forehand, Hachanov goes into the alleyway. And back to Deuce now. All right, let me go look back at the chat. So uh, M saying, yes, Karen gets a set at least. WTF Karen winning now? Ooh, says uh, Menor. If Alcaraz loses, y'all owe Tiafo an apology. <laughs> there you go. All right, nice serve out wide. And an even better return chipped by, uh, by Achanov. And it ended up becoming a drop shot that Alcaraz got to but couldn't make it over the net. Um, I don't think Achanov did that on purpose. Um, and then Alcara is showing the frustration. Ah, finally, the chats are showing back up. So I don't have to go back and forth. Um, if, yeah, so this is what one I just read from the other tab. If Alcara loses, y'all owe Tiafo an apology. Covey, it's over. Karen 0 and 8 after losing the first set. Uh, we'll find out. I mean, he's, uh, he's looking good for a. For a double or for a double break point while well, he was there, but that forehand goes long. So yeah, let's see. Let's see. Um, 
I wouldn't say it's over, guaranteed. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, Alcaraz, he's tough to beat on any day. But Hachanov, this could be the day. He's playing really well. He's. Uh, it's just that he's got to win these big. He's got to win this, you know. Like take the double break, you know. He, he's getting so close. He's already had two game points. Hasn't put it away. These are the moments. These are the types of things that uh, we need to see from Hachanov. Uh, sir, right to the body. Alcaraz runs around the backhand and uh, the forehand goes well long. Well long. And so another game point, Hachanov. This game is has just eclipsed the six-minute mark, one of the longer games of this match. So Alcaraz talking to his coach from uh, actually from the other side, I think. So I mean, they're not chatting. They're just doing the, the hand signal. So all legal, but it's a uh, yeah. backhand Alcaraz return off the second serve goes into the net. Hachanov holds and he is up five to two. Now Alcaraz will serve to stay in this match after the break. Karim, Karim, Karim has no. Yep, Karin Hachinov, y'all. He is playing some great tennis right now, and he is ahead versus a world number two here in the second set. However, Carlos is up uh, one set. So what else is going on today, you might be wondering. Well, after this match, um, coming up in about three hours and 50 minutes, 5-0, so just under four hours, we have Altmaier versus Chorich, the other quarterfinal. The winner of this match will play, will face the winner of that match. Um, earlier today on the women's side, Pagula loses to Kuder Matova. A surprise one there. Um, it was a three-setter. Kuder Matova, even though she got bageled in the middle set, she won 6-4, love 6-6-4. Six, six, so um interesting match there always interesting when a player gets bageled and still ends up winning the match um so that was one quarter final on the women's side the other quarter final will be on this court after this match but it's not scheduled to start for two hours and about 18 minutes two hours and 20 minutes or so so not necessarily right after this match but um but yeah, at 11 o'clock, which is 8 p.m. in Madrid, that is when that one's scheduled. So that's the second quarterfinal. The winner of the Martic Sviantek match will face Kuder Matova. And then tomorrow we'll have our first women's semi and our uh, other two men's quarters tomorrow. All right, Alcaraz serving 2 5 to stay in it. First serve is a good high kick. Backhand return up the middle. Forehand Alcaraz. Forehand chip Hachanov. Forehand inside out Alcaraz. And it's in. Beautiful shot. 15 love. It's very close. Winter speed just under 100 miles an hour, 154 kilometers. So that's about 100 and it's about 98 mile an hour forehand. Okay. First serve is good. Backhand return, cross court, backhand Alcaraz, backhand Hachanov, backhand Alcaraz, forehand Hachanov into the net. 30 love Alcaraz. Okay. Thank you for calling it alleyway and not tram lines. Uh, we had trams in America since Big Auto. Uh, we have had trams in the America since Big Auto bought and pulled all the urban rail lines. Haven't. Yeah, I was going to say, um, I think it's the opposite there, my friend. Yeah. Um, how am I still on $5? I donated yesterday. Never mind. Um, oh, I could ask Ben to update it because I think you put 15 and 5 all together. So I don't know what the total is there, um, but I could ask Ben when I get a chance. LOL, Pagula, who's Emma G? I'm not sure. Um, I don't know who Emma G is. Uh, Max, uh, I came back and the second set is 2-5 for Carlos. Wow. Layla Taylor, a.k.a. Uh, Taylor. That's what the Canadian press sometimes call them. Uh, playing uh, Say and Strakova right now. 
All right, Alcaraz up 40-15, so looking more and more like he's going to force Hachanov to try and serve it out, which always comes with a special bundle of nerves. So it uh, would be a smart idea if Alcaraz can hold here. Got a couple game points. For serve is good. So, um, so Ghost, I'm sure you've noticed, I, I call it both the alleyway and the tram line. Sometimes I say both uh, at the same time. So I'll, oh, my side is itchy here. Sometimes I'll say, um, oh, just why did the alleyway slash tram line or whatever? But it's good to it's it's good that uh, people appreciate the the alley. I, I also alley is my native tongue per se. Um, Alcaraz with a cross court backhand on a short ball, and he takes it. Uh, takes the game, and now he's uh, down. Still a break, um, and uh, Hachanov will serve. For the second set, Alcaraz with fist pumps right now. His body language has gotten positive, um, much more so than about 10, 15 minutes ago. So maybe he's starting to feel the juice, folks. Uh, geez, I can't type today. Taylor, that's cute. Yeah, why not latte? Uh, that's actually even better. That's a thinker. Latte, uh, stop trolling, okay? Sounds good. Yugoslav, Yugoslav in the house. Um, I'm not sure who's trolling, but hey, if anyone's trolling, please stop. All right, here we go. Alcaraz backhand cross court makes way to the net, and a beautiful backhand drop volley, and he takes the first point, a very aggressive first point. So yeah, like I said, the the body language, everything is looking much different right now for Alcaraz than it did about. 10, 15 minutes ago, things weren't looking so great. And it looks like in the moment, he is starting uh, in the pressure pack moment. He's starting off great here in this game. But reciprocation from the Russian as he goes beautiful, hard serve up the tee, unreturned, 15 all with one swing of the racket. Got Get it? Mostly coffee with just a bit of cream. Some super subtle racial humor from Old Coast. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, ghost, that's me, says Ems. Okay, 15 all for serve. It's a let. It's another one on the way. Hour and 34 minutes into this one. All right, good serve up the tee. Backhand return, nice and deep. Forehand inside, or forehand inside in the winner, I should say, for Hachanov. Two points away from the set now. Uh, he's referring to me, but I come from a long line of tennis trolls. I couldn't stop if I wanted it. It's coded into my DNA. Oh, okay. I was wondering what the... I was like, I don't see any trolling, but I also just got my chat reloaded. So what do I know? Um, okay. 40, 15... Sorry, 30, 15. Serve is good. Forehand chip uh, back return. Now backhand Hachanov. Uh, drop shot Alcaraz. Hachanov cannot get there. Alcaraz brings it back to level 30 all. Yeah, I'm starting to get all jittery, jump, jumpity. That was a beautiful disguise. Alcaraz ran around the backhand, looked like he was about to load a forehand, and you could see Hachanov starting to kind of get ready to back up, and then boom, drop shot winner. His fifth drop shot winner of the match, by the way, which is not bad for someone who I mentioned has missed quite a few drop shots more than they normally do. First serve is good. Forehand return, cross court, forehand up the line, backhand Alcaraz, cross court, backhand Hachanov, forehand uh, Alcaraz. Now backhand Hachanov, forehand cross court Alcaraz, forehand chop Hachanov, short ball. Alcaraz slices it, backhand slice from Hachanov. Alcaraz tries to pass them. Uh, and Hachanov with a backhand volley, and it goes long. Alcaraz put too much juice on that, and it sets up a break point. Big, big moment here, folks. Big moment in this match. If Alcaraz can continue to put on the pressure, we might not have as much of a foregone conclusion to this set as we had initially thought. Oh, how he got out of the way of that last shot and ripped a forehand while he was backpedaling. Um, all right, Hachanov under a bit of pressure here. 
down a break point, 30 40, backhand Hachanov, forehand Alcaraz, forehand Hachanov, Alcaraz makes it to the net, drop ball, and it's not up. It's a double bounce. Alcaraz breaks back, and now it is 4 5 here in the second set. We're back on serve. Alcaraz will serve after the break. Man, man you know. As long as you're within a break and you're one of the better players, it's just never, ever over. And there's more and more proof of that. A little bit of love for Carlito. Vamos, Carlos Alcalas. Uno, dos, tres, vamos. Vamos, Carlos Alcalas. Vamos. All right, folks. So what looked like um, was going to be um, a pretty routine set for Hachanov has now um, been brought back to level, back to on serve, I should say, maybe not level as Alcaraz is still down 4-5, but he's on serve. Um, here we go. Some more comments. Goes to M's. Oh, so you are also a Duralitis. Is that what the G stands for? My second guess was going to be Gangsta. Uh, Yugoslav is my new best friend. We're going to celebrate Hachanov's victory with some pints. He will be non-alcoholic. His will be non-alcoholic, of course, because he's such a good boy. Carlos is going full on Wolverine. Cubby says Menor. Latte looking like they're going to win the second set and the match. Uh, did you hear the song? Oh, the song yesterday. What was it called? We could be the same. I did not hear that song yet. I actually forgot. So maybe after. I'll, I'll put a little star on my notes here because I have this little notepad. Um, sorry, I did not. My bad. My bad, uh, Manor. Gosh dang it to heck, Karen. You're killing me. 7-5 Carlos. Too easy. Karen, it's a flop. I hate Carlos. 7-6, uh, 7-3 uh, Karen. We're going three. Okay. Okay. So we've got a prediction already. So no one, uh, no one's predicting that a, a break back, huh? Alcaraz, an ace up the tee to kick off game number 10. He's got the juice, folks. He's got the momentum after uh, looking like it was uh, he was on the brink, and he was. He comes back and breaks at the last possible moment and um, just hit his fourth ace. Very surprising. Alcaraz out-acing a lot of people that you don't think he would. He out-aced Zverev. He's out-acing Kachanov. These six foot five and six foot six service monsters. Beautiful plus one Alcaraz inside in forehand on the mini, or sorry, the, the medium ball there, medium short. Uh, and it is now 30 love. So, uh, do, 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 do. Okay, here's a shot of Alcaraz's parents. First serve, Alcaraz into the net. Wait, Covey, do you like it? Um, so no, I, I didn't. I didn't get to hear it yet. I'm, I'll, I'll, hear, I'll hear it today. I totally forgot. I had like seven different movie titles and song titles, and I, I totally forgot to look them up. Um, okay, we got a forehand Alcaraz, backhand Hachanov in this rally. Alcaraz uh, got a triple game point as the backhand from Hachanov goes long. Gosh, I got this itch on like my thigh here and it's really bothering me hold on guys i gotta stand up and itch my thigh i know this looks kind of hilarious but i gotta do it what's going on okay that's a little better that's a little better okay 40 love triple game point alcaraz serve to the body backhand return is in backhand one hander from alcaraz into the net Good return from Hachanov, uh, diagonally as far across the court as it could be. Uh, Manor saying, ah, Barrer just took the final set from Arthur Fies, 6-4. Ah, interesting. The guy who I'm hyping up is getting is losing it. Uh, Ghost, I'll go with that because I don't like giving out surname. Yeah, you know what? Uh, it's probably, probably a good idea, you know. Um, even though, you know, it's this day and age, I feel like unless you really know someone or you're hanging out with them, it's good to kind of. All right. So Alcaraz serve out wide and then the plus one up the line. He holds and it is five all. We have a brand new second set here. Um, can Hachanov withstand the momentum that Alcaraz has uh, 
found here in the last five minutes. A most important moment of the match, Alcaraz. Uh, Alcaraz just asked Karen to wait on the serve because it looks like there's some dust in his eyes or flying into his eyes. Alcaraz is having a tough time for a second. But he's good. The shirt of Hachanov is really flailing around from the wind. So the wind is picking up here, folks. Um, for serve, out wide, Alcaraz forehand return wide. Uh, sorry, long. So uh, 15 love Hachanov. Alex Obed says, nope, he can't withstand it. Okay, man, that I Provence challenger is stacked. Murray and Malfi's play tomorrow. Yeah, there's a lot of buzz about that on social media. Um, Alcaraz, oh my God, the running lob of, of Hachanov when he was at the net. Hachanov lobs. Now Alcaraz with an overhead smash that he puts away and it is uh, 15 all. Wow. Uh, gosh. Achanov made his way to the net, and he rips it a forehand inside in, and Alcaraz lobs it on the run. Imagine trying to hit a lob on the run, a, a defensive shot, but uh, a defensive lob on the run over a six foot six player at the net and successfully doing it. I mean, come on! Uh, another beautiful first serve out wide, and the return was a little bit shanky. So Alcaraz gives up that point, and it is now. 3015 Hachanov. Does anyone uh, else listen but can't watch? Yeah, good question. Is anyone else able, uh, unable to, to watch a stream where you are so you're just listening? That's a good question. Uh, not actually sure how many people do that. Uh, backhand Hachanov, forehand Alcaraz, forehand Hachanov. Drop shot Alcaraz, too much juice. Uh, Hachanov gets to it, but pushes it long up the line and then smashes the net with his racket. So it is 30 all here, folks. I Provence has a nice name to it. I agree with you. Uh, Ems, can I call you McGangsta? Just uh, to put a little Irish stank on it, you know? Um, some five Alcaraz with one of these, says Suwon Lim. Jesus, I have that sinking feeling in my gut. Karen about to take a bad beat here, up 5-2 and can't close. Ouch. Alcaraz, nice service return. Now drop shot Alcaraz off the tape, and then it lands on the Hachanov side. So he got a lucky bounce. Um, that was a slow drop shot, and it just grazed the top of the net and then went over. Just, yeah, it, 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 it like more than graze it actually it it hit the net and just popped maybe three inches and then went over so uh and then alcaraz apologizes does one of these to town off with his head down so we have a break point now again uh alcaraz return chip return forehand hachanov off the net and it lands on his side so two straight bad luck uh net cords for hachanov one of them from alcaraz which went for Alcaraz on the bounce, the second one from Hachanov, uh, and it went against Hachanov landing on his side. So Alcaraz from 2 5 down has broken a second time and will now serve for the match. Oh my god, says Suwon, insane, good game. Oh, Karen to go from 5 2 to 5 6. Uh, Ghost also uh, echoing those very sentiments. So yeah, folks, we have uh, this match. Um, God, tennis is a crazy game. Uh, and, and I will always continue to contend that as long as a top player is within one break, the set is never, ever over. Until it's over, it's never, ever over. In b-ball, basketball, says Ghost, they say you, you make your own luck. I think that applies to guys like Carlos, too. Keep grinding. You get a lucky net dribbler. Uh, tennis ball. Uh, ball, don't lie. Uh, yeah, Karen is going to hate himself. Karen pulled a, <laughs> yeah, a carrot. Uh, this hurts. Um, yeah, uh, did anyone watch the uh, the tie the third set tiebreak between Bokina and uh, Borna Choric? It was crazy, folks. They were playing an amazing match. It was five all. And Borna Choric hits a forehand, goes off the net, 
bounces up and lands on um on uh Borna who is it against Borna uh, on the Fokina side so basically he got a, a massive let cord did Chora uh, Chorich which set up match point and then he ended up winning on the next he got to serve it out he had the next point it was the change uh they changed serves there uh, first point, Alcaraz, his plus one goes long on the forehand. Love 15. Anyways, what I was trying to say is it was an amazing match. It goes down to the very wire, five all, and then boom, one lucky net cord. Sets up the match point, and Chorich serves it out with the next uh, next serve. Um, so, yeah, bummer for Fokina. But like Go said, you make your own luck. Nice serve from Alcaraz. A backhand Hachanov, forehand Alcaraz, forehand Hachanov. Forehand Alcaraz, for, backhand Hachanov, backhand Alcaraz, backhand Hachanov. Now forehand Alcaraz up the middle, and it's long. So the first two points go to Hachanov. Now I have mentioned a few times that this has happened in this very match. Uh, two or three times now where uh, Hachanov was up uh, love 30 on the Alcaraz serve, for only for Alcaraz to make the comeback. So let's see what will happen. Um it's okay, Ghost Pagula went home. Yeah, bye bye, Jesse. Enjoy that flight. Uh, on yeah, on your private air, on your private jet, Jesse. Alcaraz with a serve out wide. I actually would challenge that if I was Hachanov. Uh, maybe he is taking a look at it. But as it stands, it is now fifteen thirty. Fokina has had some great matches in Madrid. I feel bad for him. I, you know what, he's he's been playing really well. A lot of people say he's the most skilled player outside of the top 10 in the world. So, um, yeah, love watching that guy. Beautiful kick serve. And then Alcaraz drop shots, uh, wrong footing drop shot to, uh, to get his sixth drop shot winner of the match. Come on, Carlitos. Now it's 30 all. So, again, from love 30 to 30 all. Um, and gosh, the drop shots working well, folks. Fokina played really well. Yeah. He had a, he's had a great couple of weeks, played great in uh, Monte Carlo, a couple matches, and then some good matches in Madrid. Alcaraz first serve is good. Forehand return goes long. And guess what folks? Number one. I know I've said it wrong. First match point of this one coming right up. Match point. So disappointing from Karen. Carlos is a contender for the French Open, in my opinion. You are 100% correct. He definitely is. Uh oh, break opportunity forming, maybe? It was, but then uh, it lost its shape and form. We have a match point. Alcaraz looks like he's going to do the out wide serve, but will he fake it and go hard up the middle? No, he goes out wide, return up the middle, forehand cross court. Alcaraz, Hachanov lobs off of that, and it lands. Outside of the boundary, Alcaraz with a few vamoses. Uh, big yells for his uh, team, and the crowd starts going wild. He makes his way to the net. Achanov gives him a handshake and a hug, pats his back. So you can see there's respect there. But in the end, Alcaraz pulls through. Uh, he was under pressure for the entire second set, it felt. Uh, he was down 1-4. He was down 2-5. Uh, all in the second set, and he comes up big when he is down 3-5 on the Hachanov serve, um, breaks back, and comes back to level, and then takes it. So from 2-5 down, Alcaraz takes five straight games, and he is now into the semifinals where he will face either Borna Chorich or Altmaier, the, the German they will be playing together in three and a half hours. All right, folks. So let's, um, we got Manor saying, Karen, you jerk. I said seven, five. You did Manor. Bye, Covey. Take care, Manor. I'm going to take a listen to We Could Be the Same by MGNA. Thank you for reminding me about that. Thank you, Covey. Poor Karen says ghost about Sue on Lim, by the way, saying thanks, Covey. Also, Max is saying thank you, Covey for the live stream. You're very welcome. Thank you for joining me, Max. Got an ad from the Peninsula Hotels. Uh, Carlos gets so much kick off that first serve. Lovely to see. Uh, thank you, Covey. Give Gobi a snuggle for me. Gobi, you hear that? Ghost wants a snuggle love for you. 
Uh, Manor got it right. Yes, Manor did. Um, all right, folks, I'm going to hit the Alcaraz button and then come back and wrap up the stream. Vamos, Carlos Alcaraz. Uno, dos, tres, vamos. Vamos, Carlos Alcaraz. Vamos. I hope I'll... Le Alejandro, Alejandro can win a singles title. Uh, he has won some, but yeah, he'll win more for sure. Oh, Carlos with a cheeky little drop shot. I love this kid. All right, folks. So that's going to do it for me. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me on the stream. Uh, we only had about 40 to 50 people in and we ended up with 45 likes. So Virtually every single person who came in gave us a like. I was going to say give us a like and a subscribe if you're new, but you've already done that. However, if you are new, please do give us a, a sus give us a subscribe. That way you will get to know exactly when all of our videos will be coming up uh, and when they will be broadcast live. Um, you'll be you'll show it on your YouTube um, upcoming uh, videos list. So thank you to everyone. And remember, Game to Love Tennis Podcast will be calling the EGA match. Uh, that match is set to begin in pretty much exactly two hours, in about one hour and 54 minutes. So definitely stay tuned to the channel. We will be having the uh, world number one EGA Spiontech versus Petra Martic quarterfinal in just a couple of hours. So uh, maybe I'll see you in the chat. I'm not going to be calling that one, but I might be see you in the chat. So uh, hopefully see you all there. If I don't see you there, I'll see you, I'm sure, in the next couple next few days as the Madrid Masters is rounding up and we're going to have all the big matches towards the end of the tournament. My name is Covey from Vancouver, BC, signing out at 9.06 a.m. See you all soon. Peace. Mm -hmm.